Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Always do appreciate it. And welcome back to St. Reginald in City Skylines 2. We are in our fourth episode, and we have some big things on the docket today. If you are excited for City Skylines, do please hit the like button. Leave some lovely feedback down in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. And if you are new, do consider subscribing. We have immediately reached ourselves the big town. As I was loading into the save, it just immediately, like, hey, thanks for checking in. Here's Big Town for you. And we are. We are a big town. So what do we get for Big Town? Well, we get $1.9 million. And then for me, I'm very excited for these eight uh, pr pr uh, points. <laughs> Unlock points. I forget what they're actually called. And then 10 new tiles we could buy. But let's take a look. We got high density housing. And I mentioned in the last episode that we were going to be looking at expanding. We are going to be expanding out, but we are also going to do some some very targeted uh, expansion up vertical with some high density using some NA high density housing. Very excited for that. And then it's only a matter of time before we get to high density offices and ooh, chef's kiss. That's when the city is going to start really coming into its own. So with no further ado, with all that being said, let's get to work today. So I wanna get started with uh, some power options i want to produce our own power because we have been importing it all at massive costs and i want to go to the comments of the last video where we had uh oh boy fenris <laughs> fenris core yeah that's not even close Apologies for butchering your name, uh, but suggested to go with the green power and ZSH plays a fabulous Planet Zoo player. If you aren't watching them, you absolutely need to. Uh, seconded it, as you can see here. So, uh, well, why don't we just go in that route? So let's get out of here and let's unpause because all them clouds come right back, as does all the sound. <laughs> So a quick look at what we did last time. Uh, we're gonna be hooking up the industrial area to this highway today. That just makes way too much sense. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking. I do wanna point out that our unemployment is sitting at a rocking 0.02, but I don't think that's accurate because when I go into my uh, line graph here and I click on unemployment, we are actually negative, which tells me that we have jobs available. So, and I think that's reflected here in our demand. You can see that our uh, residential demand is through the roof, while the other three are really not so much. And that's like one of the first times I've finally seen these start to come down a little bit. So good to know. Uh, but so we'll be adding some housing today for sure. But that wasn't the main reason. The main thing I want to look at is where our water is specifically specifically our underground, our groundwater deposits, because the plan is to go green with geothermic. Although to be fair, in the game, the geothermic is not super green. I'm a little bummed about it, but I think it's better than coal. Uh, maybe someday we'll just buy all the points and go nuclear. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go with blue. And as I zoom out here and I look at where our city is and where things are situated, I think what makes the most sense for us is to tackle, is to claim this uh, square or this plot of underground water, of groundwater right here. So I'm gonna buy some tiles immediately. Uh, why don't we go ahead and buy those three? While I'm buying tiles, I know that I'm also, we have this road here. And so I'd like to buy these three as well. And for the heck of it, we'll buy that just so we have all of this land. And I wanna buy up here too because of our highway. This will give us some nice expansion. We're gonna expand across the river this way today. Um, and I'm also planning, just so everyone is aware, up here we have some fertile land that we'll be doing farms very soon. Uh, probably not gonna touch the farms here. They're a little too close to everything and they do kind of butt up into the groundwater. So let's get started with all that. Now that we have this ground unlocked, we have to unlock our power plant. So I'm gonna go into my development points. That's what they're called, I forgot that. We're gonna unlock our emergency battery and we're gonna unlock our geothermic. While I am in here, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown. We should probably get the crematorium, although I think at this point we're still okay with that single cemetery. So we'll, we'll skip that. I am gonna go recycling center though, because at the end of our last episode, garbage was becoming a bit of an issue. 
I'm gonna hold off on university for a little while. Do I want trams? Probably not at this moment. I'm okay with this. I think for this episode, this is all we're really going to go and grab. We will hold on to those development points until it really becomes uh, an obvious need for us. So with all that being said, I'm gonna drag a road out. We're gonna drag out a four lane road. Mm -hmm. I would help if I was uh, gonna raise it up a little bit here, make it look good. There we go, just enough to cross. Yeah, we'll go like that. I like to try to keep it as close to zero as I can on my bridged sections. In fact, let's bring it out a little bit more. That'll work for me. And then let's go ahead and drop it down, being aware of our grade. 3% grade sounds pretty okay to me. And then I'm just gonna drag this out. And we're gonna go all the way to there. That sounds good. Now let's make sure, yeah, see our water is right here. So our power plant, which I'm actually kind of happy with, is gonna be set back a little bit and it's on relatively flat land. But I am gonna go ahead and kinda clean up this area here because I think this power plant is gonna absolutely need to be on flat land. And it looks like we're all pretty good there and we'll dress that up later. So before we get into the power plant, I do want to hook up our highway. So I'm gonna jump into my highway and I'm going to upgrade to three lanes here on either side. It's gonna be a close little diamond interchange. Just, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So let's bring it back and then let's slide it out. We're, we're, so we can have our exit lanes into this interchange here that will allow me this opportunity. We're gonna go like this and then bring it. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I want my complex curve tool. We're gonna start here. We're gonna come on up, swing that way and bring it right up to there. That's pretty good for me. Then we'll do the same thing, bring it down and then we will slide it right in to the lane there. And I just love that. The road tools in this game are really, really good. I mean, I think if you've been watching anyone play City Skylines, like I have, then you know that most people are pretty pleased with how the road tools have gone. I know I am. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed by them. And I'm gonna drag that out. There, it's not even Stevens, but I think it looks pretty smooth and it functions. <laughs> and that's kind of what's important. So now what I have, uh, I, we're going to probably see a lot of traffic empty here into the industrial area, which will hopefully help with traffic here coming. Because right now everyone needs to come in through this main artery. And we're also going to probably put another one. We'll, we'll send this road over here. It's pretty lumpy and bumpy over here, but we'll figure that out later in the episode. Let's get into our power plant. So I'm going to grab the geothermal power plant right here. We're gonna align it by uh, having it touch this road and then backing up. It maintains that perfect alignment. And so now I'm just gonna cover, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cover up most of, if not all of the water. I had plans to put a groundwater um, a pumping station here, but because there is pollution, ground pollution provided by the geothermic plant, I decided against it. I'm gonna use alleyways, I think, for this. I'm gonna turn everything off except for snap to the sides of buildings. And we're just gonna outline our power plant here. I, I kinda like the way it looks doing that. Although I am a little bummed with how all of this is laid out. Let's look at our terrain too while we're here. Yeah, it's set back a little bit further than I anticipated, so we'll just clean it up and we'll feather that down in a little bit, maintain the rest. I'm gonna want some, we're gonna need a major road, and actually, I do think we're gonna wanna upgrade this road here. So why don't we turn snapping back on? And we'll update, upgrade this road, and then just bring it straight down, I guess. Turn all those snaps back on, bring it down, bulldoze. Yeah, I think that's gonna be great. And then we can put some parking lots in. Let's put some large lots in on either side here. I like that a lot. So let's get this hooked up. Um, 
I'm gonna run some high voltage lines out here, maintaining that 90 degrees. And then we're gonna jump back out and we're actually going to purchase all of these. Cool. And I'm gonna run a power line so we could sell the vast majority of this power that we'll be creating and further help our, uh, <laughs> our city's budget because I am going to be putting a lot of stress on our budget in this episode. We're gonna be adding quite a bit and I don't want to have money become an issue. <laughs> Simple as that. And then I do believe we will drop these underground. So we'll bring them this way and page down. And this way we can kind of cheat it up. We can kind of cheat and we can just hook directly in to this transformer. There we go. And that way we will sell excess power and feed the grid and hopefully not have any issues with bottlenecks. And now what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at how big is our recycling center. The uh, word on the street is very. <laughs> it is not small. However, we might be able to finagle this. If I drop this here, I know that I'm going to want to upgrade it immediately. Wanna get some uh, ability to process more and oh look at that it's perfect and we can even put one there we're gonna drop two of those in and we're gonna allow for more storage I think I'm gonna put it on this side since we have the room yeah yeah I like that and then we'll go ahead and we'll bring this road up and we should probably snake that over as well Ooh, can we fit a Let's see, what sort of uh, parking can we fit here? Maybe another large one. Why don't we do two more? Just more for aesthetics than required, but I think it'll look good. And at the end of the day, <laughs> it's all about looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. So theoretically, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I run this up there, I should. Rumor has it, fit one right there. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. It's not quite as perfect as I wanted it to be. Boy, this is where a terrain paint would come in real handy. Can I sneak one of these in? Oh, check it out, I can. Oh, that's great. Oh, it went away, come back. Yes, yes. Oh, that has made my day. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That looks so much better. Did I have that snow there? And then we have this nice buffer. Oh, goodness. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's do some detailing. Let's grab a couple trees. Let's, what kind of trees? Uh, I like lindens. Let's try lindens. Those are kind of small. Hickories, maybe some hick, where can I, where are the hickory trees? Birch, spruce, hickory. Let's do hickory. Yeah, those are a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna create a nice little tree line to kind of block all of this off. And then why don't we make a little office park? We have the demand and that will further drive our, uh, the, our uh, residential development. And maybe just because we like green, <laughs> put in a couple spruces. Let's put some spruces in between if we can. That'll be nice. That way we'll get ourselves a nice little tree line. And I don't mind bringing them up a little bit here. A varied tree line. I like that idea. Yeah. Now they're covered in snow, but that's fine. That'll look really nice when and if everything decides to grow up in a kajillion years. Yeah. All right. While we're in here then, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag an alleyway that way. And why don't we drag another one? One, two, three, four. If I do that, I'd like these to be fairly small. And I don't want zoning on the... That's better. I like that better. Why don't we do a little bit like that? And we'll just make some dead ends. That's That doesn't sound like the end of the world to me. Just bring that down. Mm, maybe we come across like that. I mean, really teeny tiny. 
At this point, then, maybe we should just go... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's try this. Let's try this on for size. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Going eight across. And I think I would rather do that. And if I do that, why don't we just do that? Why don't we make, yeah, let's, let's see what we can see. I would like to avoid lots of smokestacks. And I know that there are, like two by two is one of those that does not create a lot of smokestacks. So that would be super cool. And I actually don't want zoning here. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed that that's still broken, but that's okay. I'll, I will, I will, I will pull through. <laughs> I will survive. We're gonna get all the zoning off of this road. Mm-hmm. And what if I do that? That's what we're looking for. That's the ticket right there. And look, everything's lined up neat as a pin. I like that. That looks good. I am, I am pleased with that. And we can even do the same thing. Let's give it a little bit of room to breathe. We can even come in here and clean up. Yeah, and zone in there. Oh man, that's gonna look really nice. Cool, let's zone it up and see what we can see. So we still got a few things coming in, but just take a look at this. I mean, look at how much better this looks. I love the Quonset huts and all of the storage. And look, we got lumber yards and just only one smokestack so far and all the rest just, ah, it fits in so lovely. Still working on developing these offices here. Our office demand is at zero, but that's okay. I mean, this is a nice little complex. It is dark and dreary, holy moly. Good night. <laughs> uh, while we're poking around here, I do... Okay, there's another water over here. And I think I'm going to snatch up this tile. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I... Again, I, I did a trial run just to see what I was going to get into. And this whole idea... Oh, and we do have a street right here. But of, of using, of s selling water as well, just sounded like too good of an idea for me to pass up. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our, let's see, I'm gonna just real quick put that out like that. And then we're gonna use our slope terrain tool and we're gonna zoop right up there. So we have a nice smooth build up there and we will raise up and over I think that 22 should be enough right oh yeah for sure and we'll bring it right back down and that should get us pretty close to that water which is what we're going for and we'll stick it right around 3% grade again boy I'd really like that to be filled in I should probably take a look into that so our water is right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop and we'll dress this up at another point but I just want to get some extra water and get some extra income and use this groundwater pumping station which is pretty cool so it would only it would use 55% of the reservoir not quite sure what that means can't be bad right <laughs> and we'll plop that right there and I'll give it you know we're gonna give it a little alley just a small little road to start with and a tiny teeny weeny parking lot for whomever might be working there so let's give a small little parking lot I like that and we can always upgrade it if need be why don't we upgrade immediately the pollutants 
because why not? And an extra pump, we don't need that at the moment, that's for sure. And let's just bring this and we're gonna connect all the way over here. Now it's a little snug, but that's all right. We'll have just a little quick turn off that way. There, that'll be fine. And we'll just come back this way with it. Yeah, we'll swing around. And maybe this will change in the future. Maybe not, I'm not quite sure. But let's see, there's that guideline. And let's just tie it right into there. And now we have access. And it's just sitting here, uh, ripe for some more development. We need to add some pipes, apparently. What do we need to add? We need, oh, the road is on the other side. I picked the wrong side for the road. That's okay. Whoops. Straight line tool. Now we're good, I hope. Are we good? There, now it's just this little complex. And again, what if I went in with my path tool? I don't want it to snap to the road. And just dressed it up a teensy weensy bit. I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Nah, I like it better without. I would rather, if we're gonna dress it up, why don't we go in and let's do some planting. Let's do, let's get rid of, ooh, that's too big. <laughs> Remove only matching type. Get rid of all the trees in here. Oh, that's part of the asset. Cool. Let's add some cultivated bushes. There's a widow. Do we have bigger ones? Wild bushes. <laughs> How about trees? Apple trees at the water plant. That's what I want to see. Just dial it up a little bit. There we go. Isn't that cute? That'll look nice. And it's in this nice forest area. Might need to do some forestry over here maybe per chance. But anyway, so now what I did, the main reason I did that was so that I could now drag some pipes and we can, I kind of feel like maybe we should drag the pipes directly from the source why don't we yeah let's drag these oh the road will go that way it's fine we'll drag this guy and we're gonna go all the way across again boop and what you're gonna find now is we are gonna be selling a good chunk of this water if we look we are exporting 32 million or 35 million gallons and we are only consuming 15 million gallons it's still a lot, but on the power, we are exporting 114 of the 164 that we have made. And if we look, yeah, we are at 109% efficiency. That's fantastic. We can upgrade this if need be. The cleaner solution to our problems. We can continue to develop this as an office area. Like this just looks, I don't know. It feels like it all kind of goes together. Um, one of the things I'm not sure if we should, should we add a battery station? It's kind of large, but it's also kind of neat looking and fills out the area nice. Should we add that? What do you think? Is it necessary or does it look, or are we good as we have it? I'm not sure. You let me know what you think. I, I am looking for your feedback. And hey, those of you that are commenting, thank you so much. It really is enjoyable to make these videos. Uh, when people are commenting and interacting. And it just makes it more fun, I think, for you to watch and for me to play. I mean, this is because you suggested it. And this was because our garbage were, was a significant issue. So now if we look, our landfill ability has increased already. And our garbage processing, we can process 450 tons a month. So we're going to keep our eyes on this. I'm not quite sure if I need to do anything. Yeah, uh, this has already dropped. Our stored garbage was massive at the end of last episode. So that's already improved because we added this recycling center. So that's pretty neat. I'm gonna get rid of that nubbin. We have ourselves just this lovely complex here. I'm very, very pleased. We can kit this out a little bit. Great, I feel like that's two of our major problems tackled. And when I click here, now our unemployment is 0.1. We need to increase our density, that is for sure. All right, so next big thing to tackle is this area over here. It is very wooded and I believe it is pretty hilly, but we're gonna kind of ignore it. We're gonna kind of play with the terrain and. We might get some janky plot sizes, 
some janky backyards. I don't know, I, 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 but this is where we're gonna head. We're gonna expand into this area, create something that looks kind of nice, slide over this way, and we're gonna be kind of funky with the zoning. Here is all gridded. We're gonna just kind of play around, use alleyways some more, and kind of make it a lot more compact. I want this to feel more suburban, so smaller and more organized lot sizes than over here. I think that would be really good. And then once we get this area established, we'll probably come in and start up zoning a lot more of our downtown area. The goal is probably that this whole chunk here is going to be medium density and higher. And probably a good chunk of this as well. So that's what's on the docket. Let's jump into a quick time lapse as we figure out what this area is going to look like. And then I'll bring you back in and we can fiddle with things and talk of through some things. So stay right there. So you can see here we have our layout of our new area here across the river. Finally got off the main island here. And I kind of like what's going on. I think it's pretty nifty. It's obviously very different from this gridded area, but I'm going to try and play around with this idea of using these alleys as much more local streets. I really tried to do a lot with the hierarchy here. As you can see, our four lane roads create the arterials. And then the side, the two lane roads work a bit more like collectors until finally we get into our local roads, which are the alleys. And now the part uh, to make it all come to life, the zoning. So let's hop into time lapse once again and let's get some zoning and some services put down. And then we'll bring you all back when it's all good to go. Awesome, see you in a bit.
So after a bit of work, this is what I was able to come up with. It's really compact here. Lots of small little uh, twos and three deeps and lots of row homes. I had intended originally to do more like this suburban sprawl, but very, very, very quickly as we were developing, it became clear this no longer became an area that was viable for single family homes. So we have this nice area over here. I really like this. You also notice it is springtime. <laughs> I did a lot of work after recording. Just, I wanted to power through. Winter lasts so long on this map that I wanted to go ahead and power through to the springtime so we could get some nice greenery. But yeah, you can see here, we have this nice low density neighborhood. And man, I put in a bunch of services. Our school here is already at 866. We did have some issues if we look at crime. We have some crime issues you can see here where it's a bit more dense. And I think it's because it might be a bit harder for the police to get there. And also you'll notice I think we're at the point where we need to start doing some district management where we draw in some districts and we have this police station deal with this side of the waterway and this police station deal with this. Maybe even put another police station over here where we worked on today because look, crime looks to be uh, really bad. <laughs> so we should probably look into that in the next episode. Um, but yeah, we have some crime issues in this area, uh, but our education, we are pretty good with all everything. Our college, if we look at the college, I think I've upgraded the college. Yeah, we're at a, over 1,100 students in our college. So things are progressing, but this new area here, I like, I both love and hate it. There's something off about it, like this huge swath of row homes. I'm not sure if I'm really feeling that. I think these are European row homes though. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm really feeling the vibe with those right now. It looks a bit too samey for me, as well as the uneven grid is really kind of throwing me off. It's really hard to make this area look good when possible i've done a little bit with some path work to try and create connections and try and just spruce up the area a little bit we have this little green space right here we could plop a couple trees in make it look a little bit more fancy maybe put some oaks in and a couple pine trees just to make it look a little more nice and birches as well and let that grow up a lot of it's gonna have to uh, wait until everything's grown up to really see what's going on here. Um, you may notice that it's a lot less medium density than I originally started. I really thought it was getting too cluttered and cavernous. It didn't feel like natural growth. So also threw in a bunch of parking lots down here because I really thought we needed to. I'm starting to like if Cozy Street here, we have some, we don't have any parking allowed on Cozy Street or Briar Rose. I might come in and do the same with Garland Street, these longer uh, two lane roads. I think it's gonna be nicer if we just give them a bit more uh, grandness to make them feel a little bit special because these do seem to be our major uh, thoroughfares here. So we're gonna remove parking from them and just dress them up a little bit, make them look a little prettier. And I think that's a nice thing we can do. Still some work to do here. We got some areas we can clean up. And obviously we're gonna flesh out the edges here to make it line up with the water better. We have this area here. It looks like we're probably doing good with money. We're making $66,000 an hour. Um, this part of the video, the most recent patch has dropped with the two new maps and all that. So I think the game is sort of rebalancing itself from the, uh, from the changes that they've made and a lot more high rent has shown up. Of course, that's going to mean we have to zone up a lot of this here. Probably in the next episode, we'll up zone a lot of this and hopefully do some more sprawl. Um, probably in this direction over here or maybe over here. I think that's gonna be the best. Or maybe we connect this area, make this whole thing feel much more put together. Not quite sure which direction we should head yet, but we still got lots to do, lots of work we can do. But we are starting to get there. This, this expansion really helped make this feel a lot grander. We need to think about public transportation in the future. We need to think about, um, yeah, because our traffic is starting. Ooh, we have a major traffic issue here. Looks like we have an accident. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have a burned out semi truck. Lovely. And look, there's the firefighter right there. Oof. -ta. <laughs> One main route across here. If we look at our traffic flow, um, 
you can see if I go to flow, that's the wrong button, there we go. If I go to flow, it does look like our road hierarchy is in sh intact for the most part, especially in this newer area here, which I'm pretty pleased about. Um, we're up to 16,000 population, which is nothing to sneeze at, and we are right on the cusp of getting a um, small city, which would allow us some high density offices, which will hopefully increase our um, employment. Once again, we're back up to almost double digit unemployment. That's one of my big things with this game. It feels a little bit out of whack. Uh, it doesn't feel like there's enough uh, jobs for people, like 11 people in uh, a store here. I, and honestly, I would put more high density commercial in, but I just think it's kind of ugly. <laughs> I kind of think the high density commercial is ugly anywhere except in a downtown setting. So like, here we are. We have 41 workers at this uh, at this shop late. I did go ahead and throw in some high density commercial. And you'll notice we have our first high density uh, residential here flanking Bro Park, which we are not going to name Bro Park. We are going to name it Zuri Gardens. A uh, person in the comments went ahead and suggested we name this Zuri Gardens after the Planet Coaster series we made with Jaunty, and that just makes too much sense for me. So we are going to go ahead and name the park Zuri Gardens. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Coming up on the screen is their comment right now. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. So that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'll probably off camera, I might dress all this up so that we can start something fresh. But like we did quite a bit today. I mean, we put down a new power plant. We got water. We're trading to the outside connections and we really expanded the city's footprint. And then in the next episode, we'll increase workspace and density. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying. I know this last uh, update took a little longer to get out. It's been an incredibly busy week for me in real life, work, and all of that. Um, and then with the holidays coming up, probably not going to be another episode before the holidays. So we'll just have to make do. <laughs> hope you are enjoying this series, though. I'm having fun playing. I know a lot of people are kind of down on City Skylines, too. But I'm still enjoying it, learning about it, growing a city. I'd love to get to like 100 popula 100k population. That'd be a pretty neat goal for me. Uh, this map though, I'm gonna tell you honestly, this map, the winter is so long on this map, it's a little frustrating. So I don't know what we're gonna do, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at right now and I'm pretty pleased with it and I hope you are too. So with all that being said, let's see, let's zoom in on our new area here. Let's just get a look, let's see, let's find a good angle. So we'll just end our episode right here as we look at this cozy little neighborhood in amongst some more developed area. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And I will see all of you for the next episode of City Skylines 2 in St. Reginald. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.